All right, here we go. Part two of Solo Overnighter building a fort in the woods. High of 70, low of 40. We're out here getting it done. No cloud coverage and that sucks, but maybe this evening clouds will come in and it'd be good to go. I'm thinking we work on the front and the back walls today and maybe a door and then have some chow. Always look forward to that part. But right now I wanna get out here and move around, cut some saplings and move to our spot. Let's get her done. Okay, so here we are. I went ahead and took the tarp off here because there's some design flaws I want to address. First thing is I want to relocate this Y branch that holds up our ridge pole. I want to move it back about six inches. Place that bad boy right here. And I want to go ahead and cut off about two inches off the Y. So it's just enough to hold that ridge pole in place. Then there's a few nubs on here. I want to go ahead and file those off. Then we'll go ahead and put our tarp back on here and then move on from there. Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. For those interested in gear, all my gear can consistently be found in two locations. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. Both links can be found inside my description box or simply go to corporalaf.com. Boom, we're done. So now this pole is actually in line with or even with my sidewalls. So here's what I'm thinking for the front and the back as well. We'll talk about the back separately. 
I want to go ahead and get two poles, probably about no more than an inch diameter, and create a bipod using a bipod lash. Run it up here. Boom. Now I got an A-frame that's going to slope down to my sidewalls. Okay? Everybody tracking? Everybody following me? Boom. Then from here, verticals hammered into the ground and tied off to my A-frame. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Leaving a spot probably about two foot wide by about three foot tall for a door. Now, those of you that watch my channel, I recommended the Huntsman a couple weeks back. And the dude's got a badass shelter. And I'll toss a picture up. If you haven't seen him, check him out. The dude's no BS, just like me. And when he sees BS, he calls the BS. But I want the front of it to resemble his shelter. I like that door that he had. His door's centered. I'm gonna offset mine, um, just preference. Um, and then maybe make some type of swing door at a later time. But the Huntsman, check him out. Check out that picture. And that's what we're going for. And then in between the gaps, we're gonna go ahead and clay that up. Boom. Same with the backside.
Let's go ahead and pause one more time. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone and download that free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Well, here we go. Store away gourmet wild boar bacon bean stew. We got boar bacon, great northern beans, herbs or herbs, and vegetables in a brandy reduction. That's always fun. Omnivore, omnivore, and gluten free. That's not going to be a problem right there. Spoon's too small, so we're going to fix this MRE style. Now before I get started, looks like somebody threw up in the bag. Check this out. Now for the taste test. Believe it or not, it's outstanding AF. The bacon's nice and thick. Um, kind of like that uh, three bean soup or whatever, or like uh, split pea soup. But this is actually good. Yeah, I recommend this. And the flavor is outstanding too. It's not too hot, spicy. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, this is good. Worthy of the name bacon. So while we're sitting here, let's go ahead and have a talk. Good news and bad news. Good news is, there's bacon. Bad news is, the private land I normally film on has been compromised. But compromised in a good way. Currently it's archery season. Next month's gonna be rifle, I believe December's rifle and muzzle loader. So, People are paying the property owner, and what I found out was, due to coronavirus, this is his only source of income. So, I'm out there for free, and I look at it like, I'm going to be a courteous guest. If somebody pays money to go hunt somewhere for recreation and bring their children with them and bring them up the right way, then I'm going to be as courteous as I can, and I'm going to step away. So, this cabin series will be put on hold. Now, the downside of putting it on hold is it's going to be put on hold till probably March or, sorry, March, January or February. That's when archery season ends. And from what I understand is, after talking to the property owner, he's got people coming. And in fact, probably about 2,000 yards over that hill, I actually saw a trailer pull up. So people are actually coming here tonight, and they're going to hunt tomorrow. So this will not be a solo overnighter. It's titled that, but it won't be because I won't be here tonight. I want to give them the lay of the land, let them go out and you know scout and do all that stuff. Um, but normally, I'm titling this Solo Overnighter because it's a part two and we had a four part series planned. So, is what it is, it happens, but this will actually give me a chance to shift gears. And I got a couple other badass shelters that'd be a good two or three part series that I was gonna wait till after the first of the year, but we'll do them now. Catch you all in a few minutes. Mm. All right, let's talk about YouTube's recommended playlist. Those of you that have been doing me the favor of 
watching the recommended playlist, scrolling through it and looking for my videos and then playing that bad boy, I ask that you continue doing so. It's actually working. It's bumping me up higher on that list. Unfortunately, YouTube wants to recommend only contracted YouTubers or their top tubers. And everybody else falls by the wayside. But we can fix that. After this video or any video that you watch of mine, check out YouTube's recommended playlist, scroll through it, find my next video and play that bad boy. Let it run all the way through. This will actually show YouTube that you want more of Corporal's Corner. I want more of Corporal's Corner. I want to be there for you. I want to continue producing, kicking butt out here in the field. So show them that you want more and I'll be there for you. I appreciate it. The next thing I want to talk about real quick is my website, corporalaf.com. Once again, it's corporalaf.com. Check that bad boy out. You're going to find a list of all my videos. So if you missed a video, you can click on it right there and check it out. we got merchandise that's coming soon. You're going to see a spot on there for that. It's coming soon, believe me. Logos are finished. Next thing on that list is going to be, or on that page, is going to be a spot for all my recommended gear through my Amazon affiliate page and my Self-Reliance Outfitters affiliate pages. You can click that link, go to either one of those, and scroll through my favorite gear. The most important feature, though, is my email list. Get on that email list. YouTube will not, period, will not email you anymore for anybody's videos, unless you're a top YouTuber. So to keep my channel from becoming a dead channel and keep me producing out here, that way you guys get recommended, get on my email list. Once again, it's corporalaf.com. And once again, my thank you. Thank you to all my new subs for signing on and checking me out. I'm here to stay. Come along for the ride. All my old subs, it's been a long 12 years. Thank you for sticking around. As I always say it, without you, I'm nothing. Just please do me that favor. Check out YouTube's recommended playlist. Check out my next video and let it play through. It will help me out a lot. Since we're not doing an overnighter, we're gonna go ahead and kick off coffee time right now. Why? Because every time should be coffee time. Valhalla Java. Outstanding. All right, let's talk about that shelter over there. What did we do? We came back for part two. We went ahead and moved that Y branch and ridge pole back about six inches, secured it, then went ahead and found some vertical sticks for our front wall, created a wall and a doorway. Now the next step would be to come back in a few months. We've already talked about how the land is going to be rented out for hunters for the next few months. And me being a courteous guest um, and being allowed to film there for free, I'm going to step back. And once we come back in a few months, we'll go ahead and clay the inside of the walls, build that back wall and rock a stove fireplace. That's going to be fun. And then go ahead and put on some type of roof system. Now until then, like I already mentioned, we got several other things we can do. Go ahead and end this bad boy right now. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. Both links can be found inside my description box or simply go to corporalaf.com. Now please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone and download that free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. As always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.